And tonight, Marisa Vedra has an all-new interview with the owners, and they found themselves front and center in the middle of this controversy. Marie? Absolutely, Carrie and Fields. They say this was not a publicity stunt, but either way, from Arizona all the way to New York, here it is on the New York Daily News page, people are talking about Amy's Baking Company out of Scottsdale. And at this point, the couple says that this was not something they planned. This was just their way to fight for this restaurant. Their debut on reality TV didn't go so well. But it's the internet aftermath that's really burning Amy and Sammy Buzoglo. People by the thousands began blasting the couple on their Facebook page for their bad behavior. It appears that Amy let them have it right back in profanity laced rants. Those posts captured nationwide attention Tuesday, so we went to the restaurant. I f all of you. Okay. Seriously? Yes, yes. I and walked up to find Sammy shooing away gawkers who wanted to see the pair for themselves. This is opening fire. This is what I call it, internet war. I, I understand, sir. I Thank appreciate you. it. It takes two to have a war. Sammy's yeah. fighting spirit but, seemed well, no, to support the angry no, rants no, shared on their page, okay. like this one, which needed its fair share of blurring. The couple sat down with us to say they've been hacked. I went into our Facebook and I saw these posts and these timeline posts and I freaked out. I said, oh my God, we did not write these. I tried to delete them and I couldn't. We have the FBI we contacted. We are working with Pinal County Sheriff's Department, with the Scottsdale Police Department. They've all been wonderful. So the post using profanity. No, 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing negatively have I said. Amy says this afternoon she was able to delete some of those vulgar Facebook posts. Of course, commenters are doubting her story. So, with everything going on, this door will remain closed for the dinner hour. But there's no shortage of people driving by or stopping to take a picture on their smartphone. Now, the real question is, what happens next for Amy's Baking Company? We're asking ourselves that every We're single moment. We're still asking. Moment. We don't know yet. I, we, I don't know why I say I live... Uh... Uh, day by day or minute by minute, I don't know. What we do know is that there's still plenty of interest in what these two are serving. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow I'll be open again, 5 o'clock. In many of the comments made on the couple's Facebook page, they mentioned that Amy is a criminal. Well, that's true. She does have a record. Uh, she pled guilty to bank fraud back in 2003. We asked her about it tonight. She did not hide it. She said she pled guilty, served her time, and has since moved on. She said she wanted to thank all of their regular customers for their continued support through all of this. Carrie Fields, back to you.